Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our NFL Week 14 preview between the Denver Broncos and the Oakland Raiders. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Broncos. When you look at the Broncos in this matchup and you look at the first meeting versus the Raiders, they were able to operate out of a lot of three, four, and sometimes empty sets. That helped them out a lot. Why? It widened out that Raiders defense. It forced those guys to cover every blade of grass. And I think that's the same game plan the Broncos bring into this matchup because we know the Raiders are thin on the back end. And now you see no Sean Moreno running the football, being an effective guy out of the backfield. And people also underrate his ability to catch the football. Look for that to play a huge role in this matchup versus Oakland. Now defensively, what we saw last matchup was a lot of interior pressure from their defensive line. Guys like Mitch Ryan, Kevin Vickerson, they did a lot of creative things up front. They put a guy over the center, which is huge in that zone offense, was able to get penetration and able to send extra guys on the in the second level the linebacker. So look for Vixen, Uriah, and company, those guys to get versatile up front. Again, you saw three, four looks, you saw barrel looks, you saw a lot of different front from that defensive front. I think that's how they're going to be able to get pressure and free up opportunities for Von Miller. Now let's move over to the Raiders in this ball game. And in the first matchup, they ran a lot of cover two pre-snap looks and then at the snap of the ball, moved to cover three robber. That wasn't effective versus the Broncos. They were most effective when they went to man press and man defense. If they can do that, they're just going to have to win a lot of those individual matchups, which is tough, but they were in position to make plays. That first drive, they could have gotten a turnover had the guy caught the football. So they are better in man press than they are in zone. I think that's how they're going to have to play the Broncos this matchup. Now on offense, they can operate the short to intermediate passing game. That's going to get the football out of Carson Palmer's hands very quickly, and it also puts the ball in the belly of Jeremy Stewart. This guy had an outstanding game last week. They were effective running the football, and I think they're going to do the same thing this week. They're going to have to stay with the game plan. They can get to the outside with the zone. That way, Carson Palmer can operate off play action. They can hit the short passing game because the Raiders wide receivers can make one miss, and they have the speed to take it the distance. So if they try to set up the deep passing game off a of play action pass, it won't work this week versus the Broncos. Let's look at some of the coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For the Raiders, they can't play the Broncos game. They're going to have to play their game, and it's going to be running the football, operating off play action, short to intermediate. Don't try to hit big plays deep down the field until you're able to connect on a few of those short passes. And the interior defensive line has to win up front. They have to be able to get pressure without blitzing Peyton Manning. And say no to cover three, Robert. Only use it in the red zone, that's where you can have some effectiveness. If you use it on the width of the field or the length of the field, you're going to struggle. Now, for the Broncos, they have to make this the Raiders' offense or Raiders' defensive line versus their offensive line. That's where they have the advantage. And on defense, they have to identify Marcel Reese and find out where he is each and every play, and that way you can game plan accordingly. And you have to wrap up tackle. The Raiders, like I said before, are guys that are burning on the edges. They have sneaky speed and deceptive speed in the backfield, so you have to make sure you sure tackle this week to get these guys off the field. I like the Broncos in this ball game. When you look at a team that's clicking on all cylinders, tough game last week versus Tampa. They were able to hold on and win that ball game. So that shows a lot of metal this week versus the Raiders. Common opponent, divisional opponent. So look for a close game and for the Broncos to pull away at the end. Too much defensive pressure will be the doom to the Oakland offensive line. And I want to give a huge shout out to Raider fan forums and Bronco fan forums for always showing football game plan support.